Hello and welcome to Abroad News. More commonly known as the Abroad Index. Covering the story, we have our chief analyst, Kairos Stein. On to you, Kairos. Um, are, are we rolling? Okay, uh, hello, my name is Dewey McBeaker, and I'm from Brawl News, uh, t and today it's time for the Brawl Olympics! How was that, Jerry? Do I, do I get the job? What? Jerry replaced me with Stewie? No! <laughs> Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time for another Brawlympics! That's right guys, today we're going to be comparing the racing speeds for all of the brawlers in the game. Now I did a very similar video to this in the past, but that was mostly just kind of like me messing around. Today I'm going to be a lot more exact with ranking every single brawler. Additionally, since my last racing video, the base speeds of all of the brawlers have been changed and some of the balance changes have actually influenced some of the rankings. Now before we jump into this guys, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for future amazing Brawl Stars videos. Okay guys, let's go ahead and go over the rules for today's video now first of all what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and line up each of the brawlers against the back wall to the lower right hand side of the arena and then they're gonna go ahead and race to the opposite side of the map to see who is fastest now I made sure that every brawler starts at the exact same moment that their character starts moving to make sure that it is accurate now the exact frame where the white line disappears from view is going to be considered the finish line now this gives the camera in the game some time to adjust as well as make sure that this is as accurate as possible. Now on top of that, each brawler is allowed one super to give themselves a racing advantage if it will help them. They may also use their regular attack or star power if that helps as well. As a side note, minion speeds like Nita's Bear and Terra's Shadow will also be measured but they will not be considered for rankings today. Now before we get started with the rankings, I wanted to quickly cover the base movement speeds for all of the brawlers. That's right guys, not all the brawlers walk at the same speed. There are three walk speeds that all brawlers fall into excluding attacks supers or star powers 720 which is a slow walk speed 770 which is a medium walk speed and 820 which is a fast walk speed now when I mention these speeds I don't actually have a specific conversion rate or anything like that these are just the raw numbers pulled from the actual game files most brawlers have a walking speed of 720 but there are a few brawlers that have a base walking speed of 770 which is 7% faster than most brawlers this includes bull Daryl El Primo and Frank last there are a couple of brawlers with a base walk speed of 820 or 14% faster than most brawlers in the game. And that includes Crow and Mortis. Now that you know the base walk speeds for all of the brawlers and I've explained the rules, go ahead and put in the comment section below who you think the three top brawlers are going to be for racing speeds in this video. And make sure you put them in order or it doesn't count. Now let's go ahead and start off with dead last for a very special spot. We have Terra's Shadow. Okay, I... I'm just kidding, but did you actually know that if you aim Terra's super directly into the corner as far as you can, it will actually get stuck? Now that's what I call dead last. <laughs> okay, for real though, we actually have in this last place, even though it's not ranked, Nita's Bear. Now Nita's Bear is the slowest moving character in the game with a movement speed of 620. That is 15% slower than the slowest brawler in the game. Now uh, as a reminder, we are not counting Nita's Bear for rankings. So Technically, Nita's bear is unranked instead of last. Okay, seriously though, guys, 100% in dead last, no tricks or anything like that. We have a massive tie for 10th place, including 12 brawlers. We've got Barley, Bo, Brock, Jesse, Nita, Pam, Penny, Poco, Ricochet, Shelly, Spike, and Terra. That's right, guys. Each of these brawlers have a slow walking speed and do not have any attacks, supers, or star powers that will give any speed advantage at all. Up next, we have coming in ninth place, Frank. Frank has a medium walking speed, but does not gain any advantage from his attack, super, or star power in any way. In fact, if he uses his star power or super, he'd actually be last, 
because it slows him down. Dynamike is next, coming in 8th place. Now Dynamike barely beats Frank when using his super to bounce forward. Now where this is kind of like a sprint, Dynamike actually beats Frank, but Frank absolutely would win in a longer distance run. Now one thing I really wanted to test extensively was whether or not Dynamike's star power actually gave him a speed boost when he was jumping with it. I brought Lukey Bear, who is a Dynamike master jumper, on to test things with me. And even with perfect Dynamite Stick, Mike takes a second to regain composure after he lands, which does slow him down. We tested this extensively to make sure that Dynamite's regular attack does not actually increase his speed. Now, if it is possible to get a faster speed by consistently double jumping, that is not something we were actually even able to successfully pull off. If it is possible, it is incredibly difficult to do and essentially impossible. So we're going to go ahead and keep Dynamite in 8th place using his super once. Next guys, we have 7th place, which is Colt. Now when Colt is not maxed, he ties with all the last place brawlers with a slow walking speed. Now his star power used to make him walk as fast as Crow, but when Brawl Stars went from portrait mode to landscape, everybody's base speed got a buff, but Colt's star power did not. This actually means that Colt is slightly between medium walkers and fast walkers. Here you can actually see that Colt is clearly faster than El Primo, who is a medium walking brawler. If you pay really close attention to the red circle and blue circle here, you can see that Crow is slightly faster than Colt. That's right guys, Colt is kind of a very unique brawler with his own special walking speed. And I searched through the game files, I couldn't find out what the number was, so I'm uh, sorry guys. Now as a quick side note, if we are just looking at straight up walking speeds, Terra's star power Shadow would actually come in first, since it even has a walk faster walking speed than Crow. Up next guys, we have 6th place, which is gonna be Piper. Now despite Piper having a slow walk speed, her super jump gives her an extra competitive edge, which does actually help her pass even Colt. Just like with Dynamite, she wins at a sprint, but Colt would actually win at a long range distance. Next, we have El Primo taking fifth place with a huge leap over Piper. Now, not only does El Primo have a walking speed advantage over Piper, but he also lands before Piper, despite jumping later over on that uh, game player to the left. Now on top of that, he actually jumps one third tile further than Piper does with his super. Next guys, we've got number four, and that is going to Bull. Now Bull actually has the same walking speed as El Primo, but although his charge is slower than El Primo's jump, Bull's three tile lead actually does give him a slight advantage over El Primo, which helps him slightly win that fourth place for today's video. Okay guys, we are finally down to the top three, which means that it is time for you to see if you got the top three right. And remember guys, it only counts if you guess them in the correct order. Now make sure you go ahead and edit your comment and let me know if you did actually get it correct with your first guess. Are you ready? In third place, guys, we have none other than Crow. Now, Crow ties for the fastest walking speed in the game, but when you add his super into the mix, he comes slightly ahead of Bull. By the way, in case you're curious, Crow's super jump range is actually the exact same as Piper's, but Crow lands much sooner, and he has the fastest walking speed in the game, which is a big reason why he has such a fast racing speed. Now, if you're paying close attention, guys, you probably already know number two, and you probably already know number one by this point, but just just to prove it, let's go ahead and show him now. Coming in second place, we have none other than the man without the hat, Mortis. Now Mortis ties with Crow with the fastest walking speed in the game, but he actually takes the lead for racing speed. While his super does nothing to help him with racing, his regular attack does. When you're watching this gameplay, at first it looks like Crow is actually going to beat Mortis, but then at the last second, Mortis reloads an attack and quickly swipes up ahead of Crow, solidifying that number two spot. But it's not over guys, now we've got the moment you've all been waiting for. If you haven't guessed it already, you're about to find out the brawler with the fastest racing speed in the game is none other than Daryl. That's right guys, Daryl rolls really quickly a distance of 23 and two thirds tiles and there's just no way that any other brawler can come even close. In fact, Daryl reaches the other side of the map before Mortis can even get that white line out of his field of view. Let's go ahead and give it up for Daryl one more time guys.
Wow, guys, this has been an incredibly awesome Brawl Stars series, and I'm glad that you guys have loved it so much. To make sure that you have not missed a single episode, make sure you go ahead and check out the Brawl Olympics playlist for a more in-depth deep dive into all of the Brawler stats in the game. Also, if you have more suggestions for future Brawl Olympics events, feel free to drop it in the comment section below, and I will definitely consider it. I got pretty huge plans for future Brawl Stars content, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe while you're at it, guys. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel. Additionally, I wanted to give a shout out to those that helped me with recording the gameplay for today's video, including Enoch, Parzival, Portal, Shadow Jutsu, Luki Bear, Truly Untrue, Ed TM, CR7, LOL Tyrant Star, Jack Frost, CY, and Arjun. For now guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.